What's going on guys? Isaiah or SlashBuddy24 here uh, bringing you my final trophy guide here today for Journey. In this video I'll be going over the History Trophy and for this trophy you need to uncover all 10 Ancient Glyphs. Uh, so I'm going to be going through all 10 of the Ancient Glyphs in the game. Uh, we're going to start out here with Hidden Glyph number 1. Um, it's going to be right around the Chapter Select building. Uh, so this one's pretty easy. You may not have found it though. All you need to do for this one is just load up that chapter select once again. And then uh, if you backtrack a bit, and then uh, slightly to your right as well if you're looking at the chapter select area, um, you'll come up here on this little area with this building back here kind of tucked away. And then if you just go inside that building, you will find the first hidden glyph. All right, moving on to glyph number two here. It's going to be in the broken bridge section. Uh, this one isn't too hard of a glyph to find. What you're going to want to do is just uh, walk straight out as far as you can uh, towards the big wall of sand falls back there at the end. I'm going to be speeding a lot of this up uh, so you don't have to just watch me walk around for seven or eight minutes. But I still want to kind of show as much as possible, just so you get a rough idea of where all the glyphs are. Some of them are a bit harder to find, so I'll definitely be showing a bit more of the surrounding area for those glyphs. Um, anyways, here's glyph number two. It's right below the sandfall, where there's that little glowing symbol on top. If you actually go behind the sand, you will find this second glyph. So our next two glyphs will be in this really open desert section. Uh, this is what I was kind of talking about. These two glyphs are kind of hard to find because you can't really see a lot. All you see is just kind of open, barren sand area. Uh, so for this first glyph in the desert area, you can go to the part where you release the big group of cloth creatures. And then if you work your way slightly to the left and just forward, you can come up here on this big peak. And you can kind of see in the distance there out to the left, uh, the first hidden glyph. I think for this level, uh, the big cloth creatures will actually show you the way to the glyphs if you sort of follow them. That's not 100%, uh, at least for this one. Uh, but this one isn't too hard to find as long as you just continue on to the left from where you release the big cloth creatures. Uh, now for this second one here, glyph number 4, you can go back right to where you started for that last glyph. Uh, and then if you actually follow the cloth creatures, they'll kind of lead you in the direction for this one. Um, it's just over two of the sand dunes. Then you'll find a really small building here, and that will be Hidden Glyph number 4. That one can be a bit tougher, uh, since you can't really see it unless you're on top of one of the sand dunes. So if you're getting kind of lost, just try to find a high point, and then uh, you should be able to, to find it a bit easier from there. Moving on now for Glyph number 5, it's going to be right after the first half of the sand surfing section. Uh, you're going to kind of fly off the top of this building. Um, and then instead of releasing the groups of cloth creatures, if you actually just work your way forward, you'll find a small little group of cloth creatures here in this corner. And using their assistance, you can fly on up here and find this little hidden glyph number five. So we're halfway through here. Now on to hidden glyph number six. This one's right at the very end of the sand surfing section. You're going to fall uh, quite a considerable distance down here to this darker area. And you'll see there off in the distance there's the altar you need to go to to progress through the game. Uh, but instead of doing that, if you actually just work your way really slightly to the left over here, you will find Hidden Glyph number 6. So we've got more, four more glyphs to go over here. This is Hidden Glyph number 7. It's in the Underground Pass section where you'll have these big rock snakes flying around. Uh, after you progress a bit through that, you're going to come up on this part here where one of the big rock snakes is sort of crisscrossing around. And he'll destroy this uh, group of cloth creatures. If you just look directly to your left after he does so, uh, you'll find there right again tucked away is Hidden Glyph number 7. Now on to glyph number 8 here. It's going to be in the tower level. You're going to have a part here where a really, really big cloth creature comes out from this one area of a building. Uh, pretty similar if you've seen my uh, glowing symbol locations video. There's a glowing symbol tucked away in this room. There's also right in the middle of a room 
another hidden glyph, which is number eight. So our last two glyphs here will be in the final chapter of the game, which is this snowy section. Uh, your first one in this section, glyph number nine, is going to be um, on this, I guess, cliffside kind of part, where you have the moon off in the distance and a big rock snake fly off in the distance. If you just continue normally along this cliff, uh, you'll come up here actually on this uh, sort of side room over to your left. And then if you walk up to this side room and do a pulse thing and activate this lantern, uh, it'll actually turn on and create this sort of glow. And then some cloth creatures will fly on down for you. Uh, and then if you activate those cloth creatures, you can actually fly up here and there will be a little hidden ledge. And then you'll see right there that is hidden glyph number 9. So we're on to our final hidden glyph now. It's number 10. It's not too far after that hidden glyph number 9. You're going to come up here on this uh, really barren uh, snowy area. This one's probably the hardest one to find just because there isn't a lot of like visual aids that you can really go by. Um, but anyways, you'll come up here on this part where you have to hide from one of the big rock snakes while you're working your way across this uh, windswept snowy area. Uh, so what you're going to want to do here is uh, hide inside these little pieces of... Uh, I don't really know what they are. Pieces of rock, I guess. Um, you want to just hide in them from the big rock snake. And then if you just walk uh, directly straight through them, and then you stay a bit to your left here, you'll see coming up a little small group of like two or three cloth things planted in the ground. And then a little further up here, you'll find a little pole on the ground, and then some large rocks to your left. All you have to do for this one is just stay a bit to your left and find the pole. Uh, once you do that, as kind of a visual marker to find out where you are, you'll be able to find this little cave here tucked away. And that will be hidden glyph number 10. So that's the location of all 10 glyphs, guys. If you unlock that 10th glyph, you will unlock your trophy. I'll have timestamps in the description box below if you're just looking for a certain glyph. But nonetheless, if this video helped you out at all, be sure to leave a like. Uh, if you're looking for more journey guides, be sure to check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.